The state-owned China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation is developing an updated version of its turbofan-powered high-altitude Kai Hong-7 unmanned combat aerial vehicle. The updated design features a 26 meters wingspan, 4 meters longer than the original version, and a service ceiling of 15,000 meters higher than the original version. The asymmetric warfare is approaching and China is preparing. The stealth drone CH-7 has completed tests and its development should end this year. The development should be completed by the end of 2024, with tests on the prototype that will verify the exceptional performance of the aircraft and the effectiveness of the project. Asymmetric warfare is an expression that, originally, referred to a situation of armed conflict between two or more subjects. A pure form of asymmetric warfare can be found in the Second Gulf War where the disparity between the contenders affected all aspects from numerical and means inferiority to tactical strategic. The CH-7 made its first public appearance at the Airshow China 2018 in Zhuhai. In the Guangdong province, in southern China, characterized by a flying wing configuration that represents a high level of stealth and long-range capabilities. The prototype CH-7 on was the centerpiece display in the company's hall and adopts a flying wing airframe with a 10 meters length and 22 meters wingspan. And dorsally mounted low observability engine intake and exhaust. Other features include serrated edges for the undercarriage and payload bay covers to preserve the air vehicle's low observability characteristics. Original company specifications indicated that the CH-7 will typically cruise at altitudes up to 42,650 feet 13,000 meters at speeds of up to 400 knots 740 kilometers per hour. Although it can also reach a high subsonic, dash, speed of 500 knots 926 kilometers per hour. The air vehicle will be equipped with an encrypted satellite communications datalink that will enable it to operate freely across vast distances. It will be also able to carry a range of precision-guided weapons including anti-radiation, anti-ship, air-to-ground missiles, and bombs, as well as electronic warfare payloads including active and passive sensors, and jamming systems. Four years later, at Airshow China 2022, a new version of the CH-7 was showcased, redesigned to meet the demand for high-end UAVs sought by potential customers in future asymmetric warfare. The new CH-7 has a wingspan of 26 meters, 4 meters more than the original version, and a service ceiling of 15 kilometers, higher than the 10 to 13 kilometers of the original version, which means it can fly higher and stay longer in the mission zone. Focus more on reconnaissance and 24-hour monitoring in highly dangerous environments and be able to continue to detect hostile targets for a longer period. With a maximum takeoff weight of 10 tons. The CH-7 can also carry large missiles or guide other weapons to hit high-value enemy targets. Its design means that it is also able to effectively reduce the enemy radar detection radius and continue to contain the enemy's anti-aircraft firepower, as well as significantly improve the effectiveness in information-based combat. CASC earlier aimed to perform the first flight of the CH-7 prototype by the end of 2019 with design work on the production-ready model expected to be finalized by 2022, but the COVID-19 pandemic delayed progress. It is understood that development of the CH-7 is expected to be completed by the end of 2024 after further testing. The updated design features a 26 meters wingspan, 4 meters longer than the original version, and a service ceiling of 15,000 meters higher than the original version. The Airshow China 2024 will be held from November 12 to 17 in Zhuhai. And observers hope to see new information on the completed CH-7 by then. Although the air vehicle is presently designed to be a land-based aircraft, company officials confirmed that it could be further developed into a naval aircraft and operate from an aircraft carrier. In recent years, Europe and the United States have also developed many flying wing drones, but all of them have been discontinued without exception. In particular, the disappearance of the X-47B is difficult for many people to accept. The X-47B integrates many elements such as drones, flying wing layouts, and carrier-based aircraft. While other countries are still struggling to explore this field, the X-47B has already completed takeoffs and landings on aircraft carriers and aerial refueling. It can be said to be far ahead. 
In February 2011, the X-47B completed its first flight test at Edwards Air Force Base in the United States. After the first flight was completed, its carrier-based takeoff and landing were carried out separately. In May 2013, the X-47B successfully took off from the USS Bush aircraft carrier and landed at an air station on the ground. Two months later, it successfully landed from the air station to the USS Bush aircraft carrier. Two years later, the X-47B completed aerial refueling testing. However, just when the outside world thought that the X-47B was about to begin mass production, it was suddenly announced to be discontinued. The dismantling of the X-47B is directly related to China's rapidly developing anti-access, area denial capabilities. The X-47B has a length of 11.63 meters, a height of 3.1 meters, and a wingspan of 18.9 meters. It can carry 2 tons of ammunition and has a maximum range of 3,889 kilometers. If calculated based on the combat radius, it would have to hit a target, which is about 2,000 kilometers. At first glance, there seems to be no problem, but the final dismantling of the X-47B was ultimately due to this problem of combat radius. Because at the same time that the United States was testing the X-47B, China exhibited the Dongfeng-26 anti-ship ballistic missile with a range of more than 4,000 kilometers. Originally, the US Navy estimated that as long as the aircraft carrier strike group is parked in the sea area about 3,000 kilometers away from the hinterland of China, it can use the range of the X-47B. After an aerial refueling, it can go deep into our territory to complete intelligence collection and target guidance. However, the emergence of Dongfeng-26 suddenly pushed back the safe distance of the US aircraft carrier strike group by more than 1,000 kilometers. As a result, even if the X-47B undergoes an aerial refueling, it will no longer be able to reach the originally envisioned mission target area. Such a weapon that has been separated from actual needs naturally has no value in continuing to develop. Of course, it is not that the United States has stopped developing weapons and equipment similar to the X-47B. But it has focused its energy on developing similar types of UAVs with longer ranges. A photo recently circulated on the internet, showing an Attack 11 drone appearing at the Wuhan aircraft carrier. Apparently the Attack 11 drone is undergoing relevant simulation tests, and the probability of boarding the Fuken aircraft carrier in the future is very high. It can be seen that the Attack 11 UAV is definitely not just an integrated surveillance and attack drone. Its rich functions and powerful performance will be further released after it is mounted on the aircraft carrier. This is what the outside world has always paid attention to.